Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Cardboard Therapy, the show where I open magic packs to cure my depression. Uh, today I have a short one for you. I have the Fallout, I'll try to get this on camera, Secret Lairs, got one of each. Uh, I've read that there are Secret Chase cards in these, specifically a Mana Vault. Uh, I forget what the normal ones you get in each one are, but there's a, a chance for for one of them to be replaced with a mana vault. I think there's something else too, but uh, I just got them in the mail. This is the first secret layer in a long while that hasn't been screwed up. So I'm pretty excited for my luck on this. So I decided to open these on video. One, make some content, and two, I don't know, freak out with some friends over getting the ultra rare one. This is the special set. Aw, I'm special. Everything on the film. I got a little bag of cardboard I got to take upstairs for recycling and uh, keep part of this for the set. I got a lot of junk lying around. So, do we do the reveal first? Get the little boxes out of the way. I think that's what we'll do first. Then, we'll look at the cards in this set. So, first, we got a full art foil wastes. Pretty cute. It's chilling in the sun. I'll pick it up on camera real well, but the foiling on this is real nice. So not a mana vault off the start. Let me put a little glue. Recently they've been putting the secret layers in those little envelopes. They don't have all this junk. And I thought they're doing away with it, but like they come and go. Like some of them have those stupid little boxes, some of them don't. I don't see the the appeal of the big boxes, I guess the little boxes do a little better with, you know, the environment. Get zoomed in a little bit. So we got Still Shaper's Gift. This is one that goes in, I don't play too many search cards in my decks anymore, but this is one that's going into a deck with a specific weird combo that I kind of need it. Propaganda. Looking to replace some artwork that we won't talk about. So it's kind of neat having a new version of this. I think I uh, have the possibility of using the one from uh, Doctor Who set, but I kind of like the art in this one too. Elixir Immortality. Again, just like the art on this. And Council's Judgment. Uh, I forgot this was in here. That's pretty good. I don't think I run this in a deck, but I kind of want to now. An Idyllic Tutor, which goes with the Steel Shaper's Gift, which is kind of funny, because those are both in a deck that I kind of want to search out for specific pieces of a combo. It's not a win-con combo, just a funny, weird thing I like doing in the deck. And Anger, it's the only creature in the set, I believe. Yeah, last one's Lightning Bolt. No one really cares about Lightning Bolt anymore, but I like it. Anger is a good card. And this would be one that I might switch out in a deck. I like the art on it, but it may not actually end up in a deck. But I just end up in my binder for my collection. Lightning Bolt. There's so many different choices, and I have, I don't want to say more interesting ones, but I have more interesting ones than that one. But that still might end up in something. Uh, next is Points of Interest. We're saving the best for last. Vault Boy. Revolutionizing safety for an uncertain future. Recycling. That is recycling. Let's put that there. I'm trying to get better at tidying up as I go, but I realize that I'm recording and it doesn't really make for the best content. Let's see. Uh, it feels like the wastes should have been in this one. This is lands. You feel me? It feels a bit off, but. Uh, is it a mana vault? It's another waste. So I was right. <laughs> That's two for two on not getting the big one. Maybe all my luck was spent getting the right secret layers this time. But 
I do like that weight, so not the end of the world, but it's also disappointing not getting a big expensive card. Make it harder and harder for the enjoyment of getting quick cards. And that's also a big giant card I'm trying for. Anyway, Bajuka Bog. My worst nightmare in when I'm playing my graveyard decks. I'm usually getting Bajuka Bog. Command Beacon. This is a pet card and a few of my decks are at big expensive commanders and they always get destroyed or you know removed and cost more and more. So it's kinda nice having this in most decks to be able to just put it in my hand. Fable Passage. A little dog meat art. Good card. Uh, is this the one they keep reprinting? There's this one in the, uh, I think Prismatic Vista is the one they need more of. Fable Passage. It's alright. Reflecting Pull. Kind of like kind of like the art. You can see him scared in the art. It's kind of funny. Making some mutants. And Reliquary Tower. One that I don't play in enough decks and I have like basic art. I think I have one FNM promo on my decks, but it's kind of nice having an alt art for that. Kind of the reason I bought all of them. For the chance for the... I found out about the chance for the uh, Ultra Rare Mana Vault after I reordered them. There's enough cards in there where I'm like, yeah, I want the whole set. Why not, you know? Just for this one, the Vault Boy set. Hard work is happy work. Such a management thing to say. Oh, yeah, this bag's full. I'm going to have to take this up. Definitely have to take this up when we're done here. But take off the sleeve. Putting the sleeve on the previous box to save on some room. Or take everything upstairs and break it down. All right, guys. Last one. A little Vault Boy Blessing. A little Captain Crunch. I'd be happy with another thing besides a waste. Can I get a, a different card besides waste? That's what I really want to see. And, ooh, Codex Shredder. That is not a waste. I am content. Would have been cool to have a Mana Vault. But I play this. I think I have a foreign version of the card. I like how the foiling on the... Yeah, that's pretty cool. Again, I'm not 100% sure what all the... Chances were for everything. I just saw the mana vault. I'm like, oh, that'd be kind of cool. But made a little content. That's what matters, right? Hope you guys enjoy this so far. Not done yet. We're gonna open this up. Look at these a little bit, and then move on with our lives. So, kind of wish this was a different card. I want a little Vault Boy deck, but Grand Arbiter Augustine the Fourth. Seems like a weird choice. You know what I mean? Yeah, taxes or something with cap collection. I don't know, I feel like they're, they could have done an Urza reskin. Would have made more sense to me. The mono blue Urza. But a uh, Sphere of Resistance reprint. Kind of pays, so I think it's still a pretty expensive card. Trinosphere as well is pretty big. Pretty expensive. And then Winter Orb. Not as much. No one likes this card, but it's fun to see. But those are the Fallout Secret Layer collections that I opened. Again, kind of a bummer. Two Wastes and a Codex Shredder. I like the art in the Codex Shredder. So even if I don't swap this out for the one I actually run, I still got a kick out of getting that. So that was that. Uh, not sure when this is going to drop. I have some other content on the way, so be sure to keep a lookout for that. And until next time, love you.